Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke 21 today, verse 13 to 15. The, the disciples have asked Jesus what signs there would be just before the end, and let's continue to hear as Jesus unpacks some of this. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, but it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Therefore, settle it in your hearts not to meditate beforehand on what you will answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. Okay, here's an important promise. And notice, we will be brought before, there's a group that will be brought before kings and rulers. They'll be brought before the courts and the justices and, and people in long robes that are supposedly, you know, administering the law. And you're going to be brought before them. You're going to be brought and have to give an answer for why you why you behave the way you do. Why don't you go along with the flow? Why don't you just do what the government tells you to do? Why don't you just do what the corporations tell you to do? You'll have to give an answer. And Jesus says, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you're walking with me, the Holy Spirit is going to help you to answer. And notice what he said there. Settle it in your hearts, not to meditate beforehand on what you will answer. I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. So, yes, there's interesting business coming along the way, and, and it doesn't hurt to think somewhat ahead about what you're going to say, but don't be rigidly stuck to something, because Jesus says, my Holy Spirit is going to give you something better. The Holy Spirit's going to help us to say just what's exactly the right thing for that hour in that moment. So let's, let's let the Holy Spirit be our editor, okay? So we go, we go light, we go trusting in God. We already have the, the, His Word in us, through us. Our, our, our mind, our heart is full of his word, and he'll show us then what to speak. speak. We need to let his Holy Spirit uh, be our guide in those crazy hours. Did you notice the other piece here? There's going to be persecution. And somehow I think a lot of, a lot of us think that, you know, oh, somehow we're going to escape this. This isn't, isn't going to happen to us. That happened centuries ago to the Christians, but it's not going to happen to us in these days. No, Jesus is warning us there will be, just plan on it, there will be persecution, right? So don't worry about it. Trust the Lord. It may be harrowing, indescribable torture. We don't know exactly how it will be. But if God is on your side, that's the place to be. That's the place to be. We can trust him. All right. Hey, let's pray. Father in heaven, we're coming into intense times. We can, we can tell uh, things are changing all around our ears. And yet, Lord, there will be, even though there will be persecution, even though we will have to stand up and take a deep breath and give an account for what we're doing and not doing, Lord, we know that you'll help us come through those times. So we can face those things knowing that you are for us. You are for us. It will turn out as an occasion for testimony. Thank you, Lord. And we thank you in Jesus' name. That we could speak your word in those crazy times. Maybe some hearts will be turned even during our time of intense struggle. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God will be with us in the time of need.